Great, well, we were able to build this map in the previous lecture. So we have a base map and we have a marker feature here. And this is our code. Now in this lecture, I'll show you how to add multiple markers to your map. And the way to do that is to, uh, one of the ways to do that is to write this expression multiple times. So like that. And of course you need to change the locations of those markers. Save the script and execute, reload. And so you have multiple markers. So as you, as you realize, it's not possible to add multiple markers with one single uh, method. So with one single marker method, you need to apply the method multiple times. However, this is not very smart to do. And that's the beauty of programming. Uh, you can use a for loop to actually add multiple markers to the map. So we're talking about the Python for loop, which is a one of the fundamental features of Python. So the for loop has nothing to do with volume. Mm, let's say for for coordinates in. Of course, you'd need some sort of input with the coordinates. I, I don't know, let's say uh, like that. Uh, let's say a list of lists. So we have these two coordinates. Let me copy this. Put it there. And another time and let me change them to 9 and 7. And then you'd need to indent this with four white spaces. I'll explain this in just a bit. And then in location, you'd need to pass coordinates. Before explaining the code to you, let me try this out. Execute. Go to reload. And yeah, we still have the markers there. Of course, the location changed uh, from the previous one because I changed the coordinates in here. So how is this working? Well, I'm iterating with a for loop through this list of lists. So the items of this list, of this main list, are two other lists. So the items can be anything. In this case, there are two lists. So what happens is that the coordinates variable, in the first iteration, it will get this first item of the list and it will put uh, that small list so 32.2 min uh, minus 99.1 it will put that list in here uh, so so basically this will be put in here more or less that's the idea and then in the next iteration uh, coordinates will fetch this other list and it will put it in here again and so the marker method will be executed two times. And so in the first time it will generate a marker with this coordinates and then in the second iterate, iteration it will generate a marker with these coordinates. And that's it. However, we have a small issue here and the issue is that, you know, in reality you cannot just type the coordinates in a Python list. Uh, let's say you have a thousand coordinates that you need to map into a map. And you can uh, and it's it's hard to type them in here or or even paste them, copy and paste them from a, a document in here. So the solution to that is that, uh, that your coordinates normally in real life they will come as uh, maybe a text file, well, like a comma separated text file, uh, CSV, Excel files, etc. And uh, you want to load that file into Python. And then you want to add uh, the values of that file into the marker method. And you can do that using a for loop. And how you do that exactly? Well, I'll explain that in the next lecture. Well, um, I'll give you a comma separated file with lots of coordinates. And we're going to use that in this script. So I'll talk to you later.